Today, I'm going to show you how you can add Redux into the Create React app uh, boilerplate. This is going to be a tutorial where I will start from the beginning with a the simple Create React app uh, boilerplate, and then slowly I will add Redux into the system. And in the end, we're going to build a very simple shopping cart just to demonstrate that Redux actually works. So let's get started. To save some time, I use the create react app um, command on the command line to create a boilerplate project. So if you're not familiar with how create react app works, I have a tutorial in the link and you can follow to get yourself familiar with it. Now I do assume uh, previous experience with Redux, uh, at least you know, have some idea of how it works. So I'm not going to explain everything in the setup. So if you want to know more about Redux, I suggest you read about it on the Redux document, uh, excellent documentation website. So let me open up the project right now. And this is a very bare minimum um, project, and it will it doesn't have Redux or anything uh, in it. So we are going to install Redux to this project. Now the first thing that we're going to need uh, is the Redux, uh, the actual Redux npm module, and then the second module that we're going to need is the React Redux module. So I'm going to open a new tab and then we're, I'm going to install these two modules. So first we get the Redux module and then save it to our package JSON. I've started uh, the app meanwhile. And then the other module we're going to need is the React Redux module. So it should be installed pretty quickly. And if we go into package JSON, we should see the, the modules being installed. So great, we install Redux into our uh, projects. And we need to create some folders. So let's go into the source folder. And then we'll set up a basic uh, project structure for Redux. So this is something uh, the community knows about, and I'm just going to follow what the community uh, has set forth. So it's going to be a few couple of folders. We need an actions folder, a components folder, and a reducers folder. And then we're going to, I also need to create a file called store.js in the root uh, source folder. Now let's pop, we have a couple of folders set up and then we have the store set up. Let me populate the content of store.js. So we need to import create store from Redux. And then we're going to need root, the root reducer that we're going to create later on. Don't worry that this file does not exist yet. We are going to create it. And then we're going to just export this file. Initial state, and then this is going to be an arrow function, and it will return a store. We're going to create a store with the root reducer and the initial state. Great, we have our reducer set up now. So for we, we need to create our the reducers that it's mentioned here. So this basically takes all the reducers from this folder and then import it here. So in order for, for that to happen, we need to create the actual reducers. 
So let's go to reducers folder and then create two files. One of them is called index.js. And then since we're going to make a shopping cart example, we're going to need a cart.js. So it's very simple for these things. We are going to um, create for the index uh, reducers. This will basically take all the reducers from the folder and combine it into this root into a root reducer. So I'm going to import cart from cart.js, and then I'm going to need this helper function called combine reducer reducers from Redux. This is a handy uh, function uh, the author Redux made. We can use it by like the following. Combine reducers and then we're just going to say cart. So this is this, uh, this is a shorthand syntax. This is basically the same thing as that. So you don't have to do that in ES6. And now I'm just going to ex export the function. Now this this is done. So this is going to be using store. Now we need to define cart uh, the cart reducer. So I hope you are familiar with how reducers work. Um, we're basically going to do a, an action where you add an item into the cart. So this reducer will handle what happens when somebody adds an item to the cart. So let's define this reducer uh, module. So export default. It's going to default uh, export the function. So with Redux, you always need a state, a default state, and then the payload. This is the uh, the idea that's inherited from Flux, come from Facebook. So we are going to basically switch the payload, and then we check what it's doing. If it's saying you want to add something, we want to then we should return whatever the original state is plus the item that's being added to the cart. And then for a default case, we're just going to return whatever is in the item. So this is the basic, basic reducer, which will add whatever is in the payload into whatever it is in the state of the shopping cart. So now we have the reducers set up. We are going to create some actions. So actions are really simple. It just tells um, the, pro, the flow, like what is it going to do? So I'm going to create an action called add to cart.js. So this file will on, it will only do um, one thing, and which is creating the payload for the reducers. So we are going to do export const add to cart. This is going to be the name of the function that we're going to call when we um, when we let's say have an on click button. Later on, when we have click on the item, it will call this function. So this function expects an item as a parameter. And then just for um, debugging, I'm going to cancel log the item. So I have this handy little shortcut key. So this will log every time um, this function is being called. So uh, an action, all it is, is an object. It returns an object with the type. This is the thing that we're evaluating in the switch statement. And then the actual payload. So this, I'm just going to pass in the item. So 
it could when, when you click on a, a button in the UI it calls this function and then this function goes to reducer and the reducer will based on the uh, the action type it will execute the proper branch of the commands so now we have the the actions created let's create the UI for our components for our um, shopping cart so in the components folder I'm going to create a shelf.js the shelf.js is going to be the um, it will display a list of items that is on the shelf so we can add to our carts so the shelf component will be very simple you will basically um, let me just take the base code from app.js and then just paste it in here so it's not going to have a lot of things um, it's going to be very simple so we have a basic shelf components set up and this component will have very uh, simple logic so for let me change the spacing here so since this is going to just render a list of items uh, that's all it will do so I'm going to make it very simple so in the beginning it will have a constructor props and then this is the standard react stuff now you have to do this dot state I'm going to define a list of items for the shelf so I'm going to make in an array let's call this uh, shampoo and then chocolate and then maybe yogurt so this is going to be the list of items that's on this the video shelf. was brought to you by digital ocean the best cloud computing service designed for developers. Start your private server in as little as one minute. Choose from a wide selection of preview images such as Node, LAMP, Docker, and WordPress, hosted on multiple regions around the world. Use the link in the description below to get $10 off when you sign up. I'll see you in the next video.